There are three fan laws that we use in considering what's going to change in the operation of your fan when you speed up or slow down the operation speed. So the first law is that your volume is going to change proportional to your speed change. So V2 over V1 equals speed change 2 over speed change 1, or I guess speed 2 over speed 1. The second law is that your pressure is actually going to change proportional with the square of the speed change. Our third law is that our horsepower is going to change with the cube of our speed change. So, let's make this practical. Let's say you bought a fan and you knew that your operating point that you were going to be at was 100 horsepower. And at 100 horsepower, you were going to be operating at 1800 RPM. Your volume that you needed was going to be 10,000 CFM. And your pressure that you needed was going to be 20 inches of water. And again, your horsepower that you designed it for was 100 horsepower. But you were thinking ahead to future you. So you said, eventually, I'm going to want to do more. And so you put a 150 horsepower motor on your fan. Good job thinking ahead. We're going to show you what happens if you say, I'm going to take my speed up to 2,000 RPM using fan loss. So what happens when we speed the fan up? volume, we're going to gain a factor of 2,000 to 1,800. That is 11,111 CFM. Pressure, we're going to gain a factor of 2,000 divided by 1,800 squared and then multiply that by 20. And we get 24.7 inches of water. Now that third thing, and it's why you sized your motor larger. Our horsepower is going to change with the cube of 2,000 divided by 1,800. So that number multiplied by 100 gives us 100 37.2 horsepower. So now you can see what happens when you use fan laws to predict what you're going to get when you speed up or slow down your fan.